Welcome back everyone here at the channel Kings TCG and today we got the first video of the year so I want to say you all happy new year best wishes and of course a lot of health because that's the most important thing and besides that a lot of dualtainment a lot of dueling fun so let me know in the comments what's your Yu-Gi-Oh goal for 2024 like are there any tournaments you want to win decks you want to finish animes you want to watch just anything Yu-Gi-Oh related let me know in the comments because I'm really curious so what are we gonna do today exactly <laughs> we are having a what deck profile and I've to be honest never had so much fun dueling than with this deck this deck is absolutely phenomenal when the new support came out in the age of overlord set I immediately knew like I have to build this one because I knew what the deck di uh, did I knew what it was capable of but it just simply wasn't ever strong enough to play but with the new support we got a new tuner we got a spell card we got a synchro monster as you can see right here it's just absolutely insane what this deck can do and it's so it's so unique I mean it's totally different than anything else that I've played Maybe the only deck you can compare it with is Toons. It got some of the similar like engine things. But it's just so, so amazing. And um, really cannot wait to show you guys. I started building this deck after Age of Overlord. And I did a tournament. Uh, it was a pre-release event of uh, the Fire King's structure. I believe out of the 26 participants I became 8 or 9. So that's amazing with what really tough matchups and we did a great job. Everyone was asking me like, what are you playing? Like, exactly. <laughs> and everyone was really laughing like, oh, it's so cool that you bring this archetype to these kind of tournaments. And even just winning and giving some tough opponents like Manadium, just really serious matchups and tough matchups. So also because they don't expect decks like this to be like participating there so just really much fun can't wait to show you guys i would say let's go before i start don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification button if you want to stay tuned for videos like this and check out the instagram page kings tcg loba Yu -Gi -Oh. link is in the description down below so guys of course we play three copies of what cobra it's just the starter of the deck you always want to see this one in your hand and for everyone who doesn't know what uh, these cards are doing, they all, almost all, have the ability to attack directly. And then if you attack directly, there will be another effect. That card attacks directly, another effect. And then that's just how this functions, how this keeps rolling and how you will become or getting your end bots. Just attacking directly, having effects and continuing doing that way. One of the great things of this card is when you attack directly, you can add one what card from your deck to your hand. And that is just a condition. It cannot be ashed, so that's amazing. Of course, you can like in perm on this card when it attacks, but as soon as the attack goes through, you cannot ash it anymore, things like that. Then the reason we started playing this deck again, what tuna absolutely amazing it just can get you a synchro summon in your battle phase absolutely insane what giraffe we played two copies of this card and after what cobra this one is the one i want to bring on the field so bad because if this card attacks directly and it hits your opponent can simply not do anything the whole turn they cannot activate a card or effect so you're basically after this card uh, has attacked you're free to go you can combo off as much as you want without being uh, afraid to get hand trapped neg effect negations whatever two copies of what really nice card to have on your field because if this card gets destroyed your opponent cannot conduct that next battle phase and one copy of what pheasant so that was it for the what engine but not for the monsters, because we play some more. 
At the end of this video, guys, I will show you uh, a little combo tutorial so you like um, know how you have to play this deck, how to start of things. I think that's always nice for new players to understand how this deck functions. We got two copies of Mahunder just for consistency. It can get you another level four on your board, which helps for links, Xyz. Really nice, even synchros. Then we got two, I mean three copies of Edge Blossom. Very simple, still one of the best hand traps in the game. Of course, you can change this out for three copies of Droll. It's just about own preferences, but in general, Ash is just really good. So that was it for the monsters. Now we are on to the spell card section. And with that, we got three copies of What Kingdom. Really good card, also one of the new supports. And this card can special summon you another what on your field. Really insane card. This is what the deck needed, guys. That consistency. Um, and also a really nice thing is it got like a little zone lock. Like in, in, uh, infinite and permanence head. So for example, these are two what monsters. This is the what kingdom. Your opponent cannot activate uh, effects. What, which says like uh, if this card is normal summoned or if this card is special summoned. When summoned in the same column as a what monster you control or this what kingdom. So for example you got two what monsters here. Two more what kingdoms right here. Then your opponent is just locked out of that effect in all these zones. So really really nice side effect. But most important is just the special summon effect to be honest. Three copies of what train, Add, adding what cards from deck to your hand, always, always good, always needed. And maybe the best effect is in your next turn, you can banish this one from the grave and then special summon as many what monsters as possible from your hand. So just blowing up your field with this card, amazing. One of the cards which annoyed my <laughs> most of my opponents, but I used it a lot. It's Messenger of Peace. It's just so simple. Neither player can declare attacks with monsters with a higher attack than 1500 or 1500 itself. And most of our cards ain't that, uh, don't have that high attack points. So it really comes in really handy just to annoy your opponent or it will give you some time to draw the cards you need or add the cards you need to your hand to get your own things going. Two copies of Photon Sanctuary, just summon two Thunder Tokens, helps you for your link plays because it cannot um, synchro, that's like a restriction. And of course you cannot exist someone with tokens. We got two copies of Desires, really handy and when you did everything, activate Desires and hopefully draw into a card like uh, Ash Blossom. Two copies of Triple Tactic Talents. And then we have two copies of Lightning Storm. So of course we play second and Lightning Storm is just such an amazing card going second. Can remove back row, can remove monsters. So really nice. This is really a going second deck guys. So you don't love to go first with this deck. You can pull off some things of course. Making uh, things like Baguska, Avramax. I'm already telling you a bit about the extra deck. But then you got a bit of an idea what you can do going first. But of course you want to go going second. Last spell card. Double or nothing. And of course you know that we play the Utopia package then. It's pretty easy to get two level 4s on the field. And then just be able to OTK with that combo is just insane. Then for the trap card section, we got three copies of impermanence. Really good. Also, when you have this one in your hand, to be able to activate it. Two copies of what cancel. Very simple. If your opponent normally special summon a monster, you can discard one what card and negate the summon. So amazing if you if they have starters or important summons, just use what cancel. And one copy of Gozen Match. 
I used to play that three. I also played that three at the uh, pre-release tournament, but it's limited now, so we have to deal with it. So I took my two other goes and matches out, put two copies of Lightning Storm in it. Functions as well, but of course for this deck, it sucks a little. But I can't imagine why uh, why they did that with cards like goes and match. So that was it for the main deck, guys. Now we play 40 cards, 40 card main deck. Now we are on to the extra deck. And let's start off with the synchros. And maybe one of the most important ones, what Kyuki. Just a card you always want to go into with your Watuna. Very good card. This is the new synchro support I was talking about. This simply just shuffles itself back into the extra deck and a tuner from the grave into the deck. And Synchro Summon another card uh, from your extra deck like what Chimera. And you don't have to look at the level, so really, really powerful. What, what Chimera is most of the times the card that you summon as last in your combo. Um, it's just able to attack directly like they all are and then just sh shuffle a random card from your opponent's head on top of the deck. So they will keep drawing the same annoying card and when they are stuck they will keep getting stuck. So we got one copy of what Hydra. Maybe the le most less important card in the deck but it can come in handy in some situations and there's a what synchro which you can make. <coughs> So that's it for the Synchros. Now on to the Xyz. You know it, the Utopia double package. Really good to, to OTK to be able to do 10,000 damage. We got one Pala Dynamo for negations. One Exeter Knight, Evil Swarm Exeter Knight for bot wipes. Really underrated card. Don't see this card around a lot, but really strong. Then of course Baguska, really annoying if you are up against that card. And it's most in most cases like, alright I'm stuck or I cannot really do the combo how I wanted him to do. So let's get this one in defense and then take some time to get the cards you really need. And to end of the um, Xyz monsters we play Sky Thunder Zeus. Just really powerful monster. So now we are on to the last few cards of the extra deck. We got some link monsters, some link twos. We started with some summer summoner. This card is able to get yourself um, um, a thunder monster from your grave back to the field in your opponent's turn. So for example, that annoying what. Um, Let's see, what was the name again? Um, this Watlemore, if you bring that one back to the field, can be really annoying for your opponent. We got Hip, Hoshinigan. This one helps you with the OTKs because it boosts your light monsters with uh, 500. Lena is really powerful for making, for example, the Avramax. That's the last card out of this deck. Avramax is just so insane. Going second, uh, but also going first. Like this is a card you can really go into. Pretty easy with the uh, card, with the photon card, photon spell card. Summon two tokens. Make Lina summon a light monster. Normal summon one yourself. Make another link. <coughs> and then you go into your Avra mech. So it's easy as that. So guys, that was almost it. As I promised, I will do some uh, some little combos, and I also will show you guys my uh, my side deck real quick at the end of the video. But for this combo, the first thing you only need what Cobra, really insane, really powerful. That you only need one card. As I said, the starter. You want to normal summon this one, go straight into your battle phase, attack directly at the what card from your hand. That will be Watuna. It's special summon itself because it's triggered when battle damage is dealt. You can bring this one out. 
attack directly again. Then Synchro summon these two by the effect of Fortuna. For what? Kyuki. Of course, attack again. Go. This one goes back to the extra deck. This one goes back to the deck. Then you made what? Chimera. Attack directly. And then shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand on top of the deck. So that's... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. That's just a really, really simple, basic combo. How you... Yeah, how just how this deck functions. Really fun. You can keep doing things into your battle phase. Keep kicking your opponents against their shins with direct attacks. Get some really annoying uh, effects. Then, for example, um, let's say you have what giraffe and what kingdom in your hand. Normal summon what giraffe, activate what kingdom, target what giraffe, special summon the cobra, take 1000 uh, damage. Go into your battle phase, kick them with what giraffe. If it hits, your opponent just cannot activate any effect the whole turn. So you're just free to go. Attack with what Cobra. Add Tuna to your hand. Summon Tuna. Simply, simply attack. Got his effect. Tuna and the Cobra to the grave. Get your Q key. Attack directly. Um, shuffle Q key and the Tuna back to the deck. Summon Chimera, attack directly, so that's just how this all functions. And then when you want, in your main phase 2, you can like um, make some summer summoner, and then your opponent's main phase, bring, bat, bring back your what Cobra, and then everything can go down again, roll again. You can activate the what kingdom in your next turn and just it keeps floating like that. It's just really, really nice how this all works together. So really powerful and <laughs> really fun. And your opponent is literally like watching like, what is he doing? Exactly. <laughs> so guys, that was almost it. I promise you my side deck, 15 cards. And of course, this is all for own preferences. Like what are they playing in your locals? What's the current meta game doing? But for me, I play one cowboy. Very simple. It just wins games, guys. I literally won a game with cowboy because with cards like Messenger of Peace, sometimes your duels will take a little longer, and then this guy will get you your draw or your win. We play three copies of Nibiru, just if your opponent is planning to do a lot of uh, summons. Three copies of Ghost Ogre. We play three copies of Drawn and Lockbird. Can come in handy against a lot of meta decks at the moment because they're all adding and adding. Then we got a bunch of one offs. Hoppy Feather Duster for the back row. What Fox? Also, if you play against an opponent with a lot of back row. D Shifter. One Dimensional Barrier. If one specific uh, card type is bothering you. And Rivalry of Warlords. Also a card that is limited right now. But you only like almost only playing Thunder Monsters. So nice card to, to cite. Yeah guys. <coughs> so that was it for my deck profile. First one of the year. And what a way to, to start of this year. I mean I've never ever had so much fun dueling. Than dueling with this deck. This deck is so unique, so so different than the other decks, and it's just so much fun that with an archetype like what you just have so much potential. People don't see this coming, they really under underestimate these kind of decks. But as you can see what they do, they just are a really tough matchup against a lot of opponents. It's really fun how they function and it's just amazing to win decks or I mean win duels with what? It just feels different. Just the way how you will manage to win, the way how you interrupt your opponent. 
So this is not only a fun deck, this is a really, really promising deck as well. I won't say you win your tournaments, you win your locals, you won't hear me say that. Because of course it's not a top tier archetype. But it can bring a lot of fire on the board. <clears throat> and a lot of fun as well. So guys, that was it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button if you want to stay tuned for more videos like this. And check out the Instagram page KingsTCG Loba Yu-Gi-Oh! Link is in the description down below. And if there are any questions, any requests, any things you want to say about this deck, just feel free to drop it in the comments. I mean, I'm always open for a nice Yu-Gi-Oh! talk, nice discussion about uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! So feel free to do that. For now, wish you all the best. Hope to see you all next time and join the gang. Ciao!